I am Muhammad from Syria. I am 22 years old. I was in Syria study. Now I am in Greece, in Ritsona refugees camp. I am here uh, in uh, before months ago. Here uh, the situation, all situation, uh, not good because uh, we are living in tent. In morning so hot, we don't have cold water. We don't have electricity enough. All the place here uh, not good for live human. It's like zoo. War has torn apart families. Project P same source, bringing them back together and creating a means of communication through solar power. The idea started actually in Samos Island. Uh, I was volunteering there. Uh, some some young young guys approached me asking for my phone to t uh, contact their families, log in on Facebook. They're just trying to find a spot to charge their, their phones, but they couldn't in the in the main port. We could see some poles uh, getting hacked. They, they they were opening the lead and trying to make some uh, connections with their wiring, place the charger there. They're, they're, they were running the risk of getting electrocuted. So that incentivizes us to design something that can cover this need in particular. People got stuck here now with the borders closed. They have to go for all the asylum service, which takes takes a long, long time because the administration was never prepared for such high numbers of people asking for asylum actually in Greece. What we see a lot, and I think students are part of this, in, in this crisis we see numbers and numbers of volunteers. So from the Greek population, which amazingly been active with donations and other things, as well as other volunteer groups, there's a huge response. Listen, it's, it's a big help and we really much appreciate it. We have just installed a solar powered charging station We're here in Ritsona camp. It will be providing electricity to 120 people per day, 12 phones per hour, 3,600 per month in total. Overall, I would say 1,000 people stay here, families. Um, they're making an, an effort to upgrade it, um, introduce more toilets, showers. Sadly, one of the uh, biggest downfalls about this camp is the, is the poor infrastructure. I mean, we still don't have running water, for example, and we still don't have electricity for all, for all residents. Um, and obviously the biggest issue there, besides now the heat and people wanting to have fans, is charging their phones. People have families strewn across Europe, some still in Syria, some in Turkey, in Lebanon, in Jordan, etc. And they want to be able to communicate and, and Skype their parents or their children or their, or their partners. هي اقول له الحياه ان بالخيم مشاكل يعني ان مشكله يعني اقول له ان الولاد اللي صغار تحت السنه هون اي جرثومه بتاخذهم We are in about 1200 people here. We have the idea of making a community like a village here. It's in our plan to build a hospital, schools, children's friendly space and a woman's friendly space. I've been attached by one of your uh, students. They talk about the project. I was very interested because it's a wonderful idea to have this kind of things. They came here, they established it. And this is Greece. We have 360 days a year sun. We need to use solar energy. <laughs> and this is a very good project. We see that people is using it and people need it. I mean, by the first days, the first week, people were coming and say to me, only one? Can we have like 10 of them? Or all over the camp, like hotspots or something? They are using it in a daily basis, of course. Small uh, children that they are using it in the time of the, in the daytime and at night time, Family guys are coming to communicate with their families. It is working perfectly. It's very good. I need more. So far we've installed uh, three stations, one in Lesbos, second in Malacasa, and the third one here in Ritsona. 
our suppliers have helped us because they, they, they provide everything at zero profit. So the whole initiative is just about giving, about offering, and without making anything back in return. At each camp, our goal is to have a device and know that apart from a, a place that they can charge their phone, it can be a social place, it can be a place where they can get access to information. And now we're working towards uh, incorporating internet and connectivity, offering free Wi-Fi and upgrade the whole design. And the university offers quite a lot of opportunities and we wouldn't be here if, if they hadn't supported us in the, in the first place and they helped us with the first unit we, we installed. So we're really grateful uh, about this. It's, it's very important for connect uh, my family, for connect my friend, it's so important. All the people coming to here for help uh, making uh, something different. It's uh, a very great uh, job. Maybe we have uh, to stay here nine uh, months, maybe after one year, I don't know. I hope uh, start my study, because uh, in Syria I don't finish my study. I finish like uh, Hague school. I will start in university. Uh, thank you very much for all people help us. Thank you for all the organization working in the Ritsona camp. Thank you very much.